Translating uh, Problems into Equations, Section 1-6. The objective is, well, to translate problems into equations using these wonderful steps. Here are the steps. We're going to look at word problems and make equations. Still not solving them. We're working at problems now and making equations, not just sentences. What's happening now is instead of talking about one unknown, there'll be more than one unknown, more than one thing we don't know yet, and it gets tricky. So here we go. Here's some, here's some guidelines first. One, read the problem carefully. Decide the facts and the unknowns. Basically, what do you know, what don't you know? Two, Choose a variable and represent the unknowns. So, choose a variable and you have to represent those unknowns. So, what we do is, we choose a variable for one of the unknowns, and then we write an expression for the other unknown. What I mean is, I choose like M for one unknown, and then I use M, and what we know, to write an expression for the other unknown or unknown by using you know, what we know is one of the facts. Okay? And then we reread the problem. We write an equation. We use another fact. So use there's a couple facts in there. The first fact we use for the expression. The second fact we'll use for the equation. Okay. Now, what am I talking about? Let's go over to this problem over here and we'll find out. Okay. Now, the problem on the left, what do you see? Gail ran four times further than Edna last week. Together they ran 35 miles. This would be a problem if I actually asked a question on it. How far did Gail run? Let's pretend I was up there before, okay? Anyway, all right, let's see. Gail ran four times further than Edna last week. Together they ran 35 miles. So I read the problem, I'm going to decide the facts. The facts are Gail ran four times further than Edna last week, all right? Also, the other fact is together they ran, Gail and Edna together ran 35 miles, okay? Cool, all right? And now I want to know how far Gail ran. So the two unknowns are, I don't know how far Gail ran or Edna ran. So I need to choose a variable for one and then express the other with that variable. But I look and I, look at this, I already have Gale expressed with the other. So that's what I'll do. I'll keep Gale expressed with the other, right? And I'll just let Edna be herself. So this is what I mean is, I'll let Edna equal E, and Gale will be four E's, okay? What I'm saying is, now starring Edna as herself and Gale as four Ednas. What I want to do is I want to represent both unknowns with the same variable, the same letter. And that's what I did. Then I have to reread and use another other fact. I use this fact and use the other fact to write an equation. Here's the other fact. Together they ran 35 miles. I already used this fact. Let's use this fact to write an equation. I know Gale plus Edna will be 35, right? Well, let's make this equation. Gale now is, we're not going to use G. Gale is going to be 4E. Gale plus Edna is 35. I have my equation. I have my equation, okay? This is as far as we're going to go now. Later on, we're going to find out what E is, and then that will help us find out what G is. But we're not going to solve for these problems yet. We're just writing them, all right? That's our first example. Let's go on over. We have two more examples, okay? Slide this over here. Ah, move this around. Bada boom, ba bing, ba boom. There they are. All right. Now, I'm going to start this in a little bit so you get a better look. Here we go. Two more problems. On the left, we'll start with that one. The length of a rectangle is three times its width. So, the perimeter is 72. So, find the dimensions. Oh, okay. So, I have some facts. I know that the length is three times its width. Length is usually the lowercase uh, L, or so, is three times its width. Width. The perimeter is 72. What's the perimeter? Um, what's the perimeter? Well, let's see. Here's a rectangle. It looks like this. You have um, length, right? Width. Um, L, L, W, W. It could be L plus L. Sometimes they write it like this. 2L plus 2W equals the perimeter. 
Okay? So I'm going to use that. I know that the perimeter is 72. So I know that 2L plus 2W equals 72. I need to find the dimensions. The dimensions are, are the linear, uh, the dimensions are size, the length and the width will have the dimensions. Okay? So, what do I do? Well, I read the problem carefully. I know what I know. This is what I know. These are the facts. What I don't know, W and L. But now I've got to write them. I need to find just one variable to express both L and W. I look over here, and what's nice is I already have the length expressed as, as width, as W. So I'm going to let you, I'm going to work this. I'm going to let the length be three W's. And just let the width be W. Yes. Length of three W's. And I'm going to, okay, so I've gone to step two. I've expressed them both using the same variable W. Now I'm going to use the other fact. I know the two lengths and two widths make 72. But I'm not going to use L for length because I want, them, I want it all to be expressed in W. So for length, I'm going to use this 3W. So I know 2 3Ws plus 2Ws width equals 72. So I have one equation with one unknown. Okay? And I can solve now for W. But we're not going to, not in this one. All right, now finally, we have one more. Let's do it. How are we doing? Oh, I have two minutes. i got to go fast. All right. All right, Bill, Will, Phil had 120 bucks. Will had twice as much as Phil. Will had twice as much as Bill. Phil had 20 more than Bill. Phil had 20 more than Bill. Together they have 120. Together, Will, Phil, and Bill have 120. So I have to choose one variable for everybody. I already have Bill expressed to somebody else, Will expressed to somebody else, so I'm going to choose Bill to be Bill. So we'll let Bill be himself. And since Phil is Bill plus 20, we'll just keep it like that. Phil, Bill plus 20. Oops, move some of this over a little bit. Whoop. Bill plus 20, we already have it. So we have Phil, Bill, then Phil. Oh, Will. Well, Will was twice Phil. But I can't do 2p because I'm only going to use the b. I'm using one variable. So I'm going to do twice this fill. Twice fill. There. I have fill, bill, will, all expressed with the same variable. Now I'm going to use the other fact that they all have 120 bucks all together. So p, b, w equal 120 when I add them all up. So fill, which is b plus 20, plus Bill, plus Will. Woo there we go. I have them all to 120. And there we go. Have a nice day. Later!